Hey everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and this is episode number 118 of 15 Minutes of Game, and I'm going to be playing some Goner here, and this is a game that I picked up, yet another one I picked up on the Nintendo Switch, like, way back when it first came out, and this is a uh, roguelike in the, kind of in the truest sense, sort of, uh, in the sense that, like, everything is, like, there are almost, like, no words at all, like, it is, like, pure experimentation, and figuring things out. So let's start with like the standard head. You get a bunch of different head options here that you get to choose from. So the standard head, you can take five hits of health. You have a double jump. If you hold down up, you can jump a little bit higher. You have a bunch of weapons to pick from. You do have to unlock all this stuff. Um, but let's just do a run with the most basic equipment. This is just like kind of machine gun. You can see I've got some ammo. In this segment here, I have kind of unlimited ammo. And then these backpacks are like kind of a secondary weapons so like this one here is like uh i kind of have a th extra high jump so i can almost use it as like a triple jump um i'm gonna get rid of that you can kind of drop all your stuff you can even drop your head uh because you can pick up different ones throughout the game um but let's use this one this is just again this is the very basic this is what you start the game out with so i'll do one run with this i suck at this game I can sometimes get some really good combos going, but uh, that's about it. <laughs> and it's been a while since I've played, but this one, the power up essentially lets you refill your ammo and these purple collectibles, I'll just kind of explain it as things come up. Uh, Cause there's kind of a lot going on, but at the same time, not that much. It's super simplistic. It's just a run and gun roguelike platformer. Uh, you can jump on enemies for the most part, unless they clearly have spikes on them. Um, I love, love, love the aesthetic of this game. And they actually just announced a sequel, which I'm super pumped for. Um, you can't shoot up or anything. It's just pure, like kind of Mega Man style, like just shooting side to side. And yeah, every time you take a hit, you actually kind of like lose all your body parts unless you have one of the heads which I'll show off because that's my probably my favorite one uh, one of the heads lets you uh, keep, like keep yourself together you have less health overall um, but you get to keep your yourself intact <laughs> and I don't even need to kill all these enemies I could just keep moving on but I just have that in me and again if I'm going for the combo I usually use one of the melee weapons it's like a scythe and then there's like a kind of combo backpack it's like that shark fin i'll definitely show that off at some point in this video probably at the very end i'll do like a a crazy final run but yeah you can uh every time you pick up one of those yellow pellets it automatically refills your ammo all the way you can see there's like a combo meter up at the top right and that like as that fills up like as long as you keep killing enemies before that ticks down that'll keep filling up or keep doing damage even you don't have to get necessarily keep killing them um and then you pick up these purple things which will eventually allow you to uh either buy things in the shop or uh spend them on a continue which is awesome like to keep your run going so you can i guess <laughs> sometimes you don't have the choice like it's just like okay if you if you want to keep your run going you gotta spend some dough uh, but this is kind of one of those spiky enemies there oh Every now and then there's like a little secret tunnel that'll pop up. But I should be getting near-ish to the end. Just had to use my backpack there to replenish my bullets. Usually when you're... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I thought I died. Um, usually when you're out of ammo, um, one of the enemies you kill will pretty much immediately drop one of the yellow uh, bullet, you know, pellets or whatever. But yeah, I don't... I don't need to kill every enemy. Yeah, okay, there. I was out of ammo. First one I killed gave me ammo so yeah that's definitely the case let me pick up all my shit shit where's my gun i think my gun might have fallen all the way down fuck yep this is exactly why i like the character that just stays together fuck oh i got it i didn't think i was gonna pull that off yes oh yeah so yeah, if you want to keep the combo going, if you really want to get a high score going, and yeah, the, the visuals go nuts when you get a crazy combo going, like the colors change, it just turns like all like white, and uh, hopefully I can pull it off later. We'll see. No promises. But here, like if you want to keep your combos going, you can even shoot these mushrooms. As you can see, the combo meter in the top right is staying there. So why don't I, instead of spending my... uh. Instead of saving my purple coins for a continue, why don't I buy 
it's one of my favorite heads since I'm only down to one health. Uh, although this head only has one health overall, but it automatically shoots an extra bullet as well on top of your uh, normal gun out of your head, which obviously just looks like a gun. Uh, but yeah, here's the first boss. Uh, which is more just like a, an arena. Oh, fuck, I gotta recharge. <laughs> so much for that. That's the end of that run, so okay. Now that I'm... Oh, wait. I've got enough for a continue. I only have one left, as you can see in the top left, but... You should be able to pick up, like, what you started with. It'll never be, like, the stuff that you picked up since, but just what you started with, which is awesome. All right, boss time again. I should be able to fare a little bit. Come on. What is that? So, yeah, if you if you fall apart with your, uh, or if you take damage when your body is not together, um, you're kind of done for. But visit death is the, uh, that's where you pick your weapons and stuff. And your starting unit. So, or your starting set. So, what I'm going to do is pick my favorite here to start. This is the head, so you only have three, uh, whoops, there we go. You only have, uh, three hearts, but when you take damage, you, uh, stay together. And then, let me see, I kind of forget what some of these weapons are. And your weapons, the explosive ones, can kind of hurt you, so you gotta be extra careful. I remember really liking this dragon one. Or it looks like a dragon to me. Yeah, it's like a laser. Those both are kind of lasers, but I'll, ki I'll do this one. I don't want the backpack, though. The ammo backpack. So let's do... I forget what this one is again. It's like a jetpack or something. Oh, it freezes time, I think. Yeah, I remember liking this one a lot. Whatever it is, I remember liking it a lot. So let's see what we got. Yeah, this laser is amazing. Oh, is it like... Oh, yeah, it has a little bit of heat-seeking going on. Um, and I'll have to try out and see what this backpack does. I'm almost positive it freezes time. Yep. Just as I suspected. And, yeah, every now and then there's, like, a little treasure chest in the levels. Um, you can kind of hover, almost like a Destructivator 2 a little bit. Um, kind of hover in place when you're shooting. Maybe not. Maybe that was because I used the uh, backpack. And I like how uh, you don't exit the tube, and in that case, like kind of like down well, uh, it won't extinguish or it won't like start the timer on your combo until you exit the tube, and you don't exit the tube until you push a button. So. Um, if you're going for like a crazy combo or a high score, um, you definitely have to keep that in mind. But as you can see, I've taken hits, one or a few too many hits. I'm down to my final point of damage. Hopefully, I can cheese this here. Oh yeah, freeze time. Slaughter these fools. Picking up some uh, some purple, whatever they are, coins. Doing okay. And I got one more room. Hopefully I can maybe get a heart. I forget if you can only get those out of chests or how that works. Might be a secret path up here. Every now and then there's also like a... Kind of a bonus area. Yeah, as you can see... Okay, so I should definitely have enough for a continue here. At the very least. Which I really like. Again, I think I've mentioned this before, but I really like how these roguelike or roguelite, whatever you want to call them, I really like how they uh, just kind of recapture that arcade feel. Like, it, like putting in another credit, like it it kind of has that feeling in a lot of the games, especially this one. Um, you know, they're not all necessary. You know, some of the games take maybe an hour or a couple hours to beat, uh, depending on what type of roguelike you're playing. But some of the more strategy uh, centric ones, uh, you know, might take a little bit longer. Even Enter the Gungeon, you know, is like a 45 minute, it, you know, it's, it's a definitely a longer run. Oh, uh, should I get a heart for, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, that's all I want though. So I need, I need this head. Um, 
kind of lost my train of thought there. But yeah, some of these games where it just feels like you're pumping credits in. Uh, that is what I was talking about. Um, oh, man. Time freeze. Oh, fuck. One hit left. Fuck! God damn it. I hope. Oh, yeah. Enough for a continue. No problem, baby. Let's go. Give me my shit. I wonder if I can... Okay. They just make a sad face. I was like, I wonder if I can uh, kill the shopkeeper. Does not seem to be the case, though. Okay. Let me at least get past here with my favorite setup. Come on. Fuck. That time freeze obviously doesn't last very long, as you can see. And you can obviously wall jump. You can slide up the walls. I need some ammo. Yeah, it's all. If you're out of ammo, it seems to be the case that if you kill an enemy, they drop more ammo. Yes. And you just have to kill the biggins. You don't have to uh, kill all the minions. Give me the perp. And let's go. There's also some kind of like, so this is like a little in-between stage area. And this whale character over here, who I love, uh, and who also loves me, apparently, with a full health. Okay, I thought it was just going to be a heart. There's some kind of way to like give up all your stuff and like get an extra heart here. I don't, I forget how to do it. You can like increase your maximum health if you like give up your gun or... Ah, I forget how to do it. I'm not going to mess with it because I'll just stand there forever just hitting buttons. But there's some kind of way to, like, trade something in maybe or... I don't know. Again, like, nothing, nothing in this game is explained. So you're kind of on your own. Um, I did end up, like, looking up a wiki. Um, and they have updated some of these levels. In particular, this second level, com when I was playing it a bunch, I remember checking this out after uh, my buddy Glenn was asking me about it. or we were, we were talking about it for some reason. I think we were kind of talking about, uh, fuck, um, utilizing, trying to utilize some of like the aesthetic ideas in this game, um, in the game that we're working on. Um, just like, you know, not ex not ripping off or anything, hopefully. <laughs> but just like, yeah, we really like what they're doing here. And uh, this could work for, you know, something like this could work for what we're doing. But uh, I was noticing that this level is very different than it used to be. Um, in particular, come on, I need some fucking ammo. Um, I believe it used to just be like a pit. Like it was not, if you fell down to the bottom, there was not like just that that landing, I guess, <laughs> at the very bottom. But I'm squeaking by here. Not looking good. I'm out of ammo. Come on. How many times do I have to land on these? Ugh. Not enough for a continue either. All right, all right. Let's try another uh, setup here. Let's try starting with the... Uh... Oh, it seems like I have a gun already. What the heck? Weird. Let me get rid of that gun. I can't get rid of that gun. What the heck? It's like stuck. Can I double up? <laughs> I think it's like glitching out right now. Let me, uh, let me restart this. I'm not supposed to have that gun. I don't want to... I don't want to cheap this. Cheap this out, yeah. Ah, oh, I should have done that, though. Ugh. But yeah, let's try the gun head. Which is... This is risky. This is one health. And... What is this one again? This is still pretty... Nice and lasery. I still like this one. It's very similar to the other one. What about this one? That's like explosives... No, I like, uh, I like this one here. Let's try some more laser action, and let's try... Is this the explosive? No. Don't want the backpack. Ah, I don't want this one either. God damn it. It is kind of annoying to, like... Oh, it hung up on the hook on its own. Um, I want this one here. It's like an explosion. 
Yeah, but it hurts you, as you can see. So, I gotta be extra careful with uh, the setup I got. I didn't take the backpack, are you kidding me? I took the jump. I don't want the... I don't want this jump. Let's just be real here. I do not want this jump. That's like the... I had like the triple jump thing. Okay. Gun head. Let's just not pick up any of the wrong stuff here. I know exactly what I want. Laser. Explosion. Well, let's go. Right, so I'm gonna do... Oh, yeah, this one, like, chains between the enemies. That's right. So not only homes in a little bit or homes in, but... It uh, kind of heat seeks them. As you can see, yeah, when you transition between rooms, you can try to keep your combo going. I'm not, I haven't really been focusing on that. Again, I, on the next run, I'm going to try my setup that I remember getting the big time combos going. But that's how you really collect the extra purple, uh, you know, currency and stuff. I believe by keeping good combos going. Uh, that increases your chances of getting the goodies. All right, two rooms cleared. I guess you, you get two hits of damage. It's not just one point, because um, you do get to, once it's empty, you get one more hit. And I do love how you can like, so if I, if I just jump regular double jump, this is my regular double jump. If I'm holding up while I jump both times, like you can really get way more height on that jump. I didn't need that heart. Oh, I would have been so mad if I took damage just after picking up that heart. Just keep it going. Yeah, and you can just kind of fly. Fuck. Oh. Still kind of mad that I took that damage now. Damn it. Oh, yeah, they eventually fall. I forgot about that. I thought that was just after the boss battles and the uh, coins and stuff dropped from the... Hovering in the air or whatever. Should be one more room? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Thought I killed that enemy. Okay, I got enough for a continue, but I don't really have a good run going here. Let's keep it going, though. Can at least get to maybe the boss again, and then hopefully... If I get my combo melee mode going get in the zone. Oh yeah, I haven't been using my uh, my power up at all. My backpack. Who's gonna be some coins. Nice. I sort of remember those secrets being different before too. Like sometimes they would be like treasure chests. Seems at least so far they've been uh, oh shit. Barely got out of that. What is that? I can't believe that explosion didn't hit anything. Fuck that. Oh, it's so hard. It's like so hard to even tell where you're at. When you uh when you just fall apart sometimes and you're like only controlling your body. Alright, boss time. Okay, gets some health. Although now I'm pretty much continuing's out of the question. That's okay, though. That is okay. And if you hear horns hogging in the background, I apologize. I never know how sensitive the mic is going to be, but I definitely can hear it on my end. Um, and I've got some headphones on. Seems to be a good bunch of chaos going on in the <laughs> background for whatever reason. All right. Not my best run there. So let's try it. This is how I was playing to try to go for the crazy combos. If you use this scythe here, you get like three melee swipes. And then if you use this shark, which kind of like, I, it just lets you use like a massive combo of whatever weapon you have. Um, I was kind of able to chain some crazy combos together before, so let's see if I can let's see if I can do some of that before I pull the plug on this one. Because you can just like zip all over the place, 
get into the next room, and then hopefully refresh. And again, you can kind of wait, although I didn't too much in that case. And I would sometimes, yeah, I wouldn't go for every single enemy. I would just be like, gotta keep the combo going. Don't worry about picking up the purple. You can hear the music kind of ramping up. Yeah, okay, I still got it a little bit. Fuck. Yeah, you gotta worry about, like, again, you see that meter up at the top, right? That just, like, keeps changing colors. Yes. It's getting getting a little rainbowy, which is always a good sign. And your score, like, that's what I couldn't figure out before. I was like, why does my score sometimes, it's, like, so maxed out? Sometimes it's, like, really hard for me to keep up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep it going. Although I'm dying. <laughs> okay. It's not even really worth, like, I'm not going to be able to keep a score going. But you can see I got a little bit more going. Um, and they have, like, daily runs in this game, too. Um, let me get, just get a little more practice in, and then I'll try one more run here uh, with this same setup. Because I, I love how the palette just changes. Like, it feels like a reward for just, like, getting a, getting a really awesome combo. Yeah, I'm going a little... I'm going a little bit too spastic on the regular melee button. Because it pretty much refreshes as long as you're killing an enemy or touching the ground. Okay, it's boss time. But yeah, if you want to keep your combo going here, you got to hit all these mushrooms. Which is kind of awesome. Like, I like how it's like, even in the shop, you're like, okay, I don't even have time to pick anything up. If you want to get the high score type situation, you got to play like a spaz kind of. As you can see here, spaz mode. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I did not expect that. <laughs> Maybe I got a little something going here. But again, you can't even think about going for that free health if you want. I got to keep this combo going. Even though I'm like, you know, I, I'm not on my first life here. Um, which again, if I still was, I'd be sitting, sitting pretty nice here. Uh, to the point where like sometimes the background turns like white. I love these little, like, I don't know, animations, illustrations, whatever you want to call them, in between levels, too. Yeah, like this part... Okay, I thought I wasn't going to keep that combo going for a sec. I thought they were too far away. Nope. Damn it. Lost it. Love the music, too. It's, like, so minimal and vibey. Like, this game's got such a great vibe to it. Okay, I guess I'm not going for... I'm still going to try to get some practice combo action going. Fuck. But I'm not, like, going for some kind of high score. God damn it. I should have enough, though. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This might be the final run for this video, actually. Now that I got a little something going here. Again, it's nothing, nothing to brag about as far as my score goes, obviously. Um... But it's uh, at least showing off a little bit more than the first level of the game. And I love how you can kind of jump while you're doing that. Oh, shit. Like, while you're doing your, uh, like, shark. <laughs> you know, whatever. You can kind of get some hang time. I guess not fully jump, but you can definitely kind of, like, almost control which enemies you're going after. Oh, shit. Come on. Get me up there. There we go. There we go. Boss yet? I think one more. No, two more, I think, actually. What? Another head? I don't know this head. I know there's like a triple jump head. Yeah, I want my regular... I want my regular setup. I don't know where that head even came from, though. There we go. Shit. Is this a uh, chest? Give me a health. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Yeah, you can sort of jump while you're doing that attack. Like, sort of, sort of. Fuck. Taking stupid damage. But I'm making some progress. 
Yeah, this level is very different than it used to be when I first got this game back. Like, again, this is another, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but another game that was like early, early picked up on Switch. And I th I'm pretty sure this one's available on many other platforms and also available for like a pretty, pretty low price, like under 10 bucks. I think the regular price is like seven bucks. God damn it. Can't end like that. So I'm just gonna play one more run real quick, going for pure create, like just going for combos. So I might, it might end quickly, but again, if you just do try again, you don't have to go back to the death screen. You can just pick up the same equipment you had for the last run. And here we go. Boom. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm not, I was not, like, using my brain at all <laughs> while I was trying to get those combos in the last one. I was just, like, spamming, and that is not how you... Ah, oh, did I lose it already? I already did. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Like, you want to keep it going from this point. Like, the first couple screens, there's obviously not that many enemies, so... It's not too much you can make of it, but you definitely want to get whatever you can. No! Like it's almost like, I think like I almost needed to take damage there to keep that going so I could pick up my shark again. Okay, hit the mushrooms. You don't necessarily need to hit everyone, but... Fuck. I was going to say, if I don't hit that one. But yeah, you don't need to hit them all to keep the combo going. You just need to keep that meter ticking. You just got to be doing damage to something. So there's even, like, little plants on some of the levels. Fuck. Yes. Yes. Okay, keep going. Yeah, I love how the, like, color palette changes so, so, so much. And yeah, you just gotta sprint. Screw the whale. But this new second level, it's it's a lot harder to keep this combo going than it used to be. I could pretty much keep it going like through the through the first world and the second world before. And like this is definitely making it much tougher just the way these platforms. Like if you fall through, um, you're kinda out of luck. Like that. Like I already I lost it. And it's like I mean, the run's not over, but, well, it might be. I only have one hit left, but, <laughs> but like, it is way, way tougher, at least with this setup. Um, and I guess I, I started playing like an asshole again. I just started, like, speedrun mode. I mean, it is, it can be done, but, yeah, I'm just, like, falling straight down here. This is not, not how you do it. Let me be clear. I guess it's an easy... This is the coward's approach. But it's really impressive how they're able to do, like, so much with a pretty... You know, it's... I guess there's a decent amount of colors, but it's, like, mostly pretty limited color palette. I guess since I'm down to my last hit here, why don't I try this new head? It seems to be... Oh, it's like a... Looks like it eats stuff above me? That's kind of cool. Like, it kind of looks like it's just opening its mouth. There's like a mouth on the top of its head. <laughs> that is kind of sweet. Is it only when I double jump? No, it's just whenever anything's above me, I think. Fuck. No. Fuck. I lost... Oh, there it is. I was like, I lost my weapon. No! Oh my god. Recharge. I was like, give me the shark back. Let's go. Oh yeah. Give me a heart. Come on. Get me up there. I didn't think I could make that. Okay. Is it the boss? One more. I 
see why that kind of why they give you that head on this level. Like it just seems kind of appropriate with most of these enemies approaching you from above. Yes. Ah, uh, I was just gonna say maybe we can get something going. Nice catch though. Nice catch. Is this the boss? I should have enough for a continue too. I think. Every continue costs a little bit more subsequently. Um, I guess I'm just gonna get some health. Cause I don't want any of this other shit. Let's go. That baseline was getting me pumped too. This boss is way tougher than the first section. If I recall correctly. Oh wait, not even at the boss. I'm actually gonna pick up this weapon, I think. Yeah. I don't want that scythe anymore. Actually, I don't know. This is like a grenade launcher. I didn't like how that was controlling. Damn it. I didn't mean to hit that. Yeah, this is totally different. This is like a level I've, I've never seen a layout like this before. And the way they're like given weapons and different heads and guns between levels, like usually not the case from how I remember playing it before. That's really cool. They have updated this game a lot since it came out. Fuck. Which has me even more excited for Goner 2. God damn it, I lost my head. I'm gonna need that gun. So now I'm one hit and I'm and I'm done. And I'm a goner. If you will. Oh, I was going to say, oh, fuck. Am I going to be able to squirm my way out of this? I don't even know where that head went, though. Fuck, I got no ammo. Is it up there? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh. And then I take some damage right away. I guess I gotta go up. No. Just keep going. I'm just gonna ride that wave. Get in there. Get in there! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I don't have any kind of serious combo going, so let's see... Oh, this is new too. Replenish my health and ammo. Wow, that's awesome. Get new stuff too. I'm gonna keep what I got though. That's really cool. Yeah, this was definitely not here before. I don't remember what was between the this section, but definitely not this. Okay, yeah, there's just no boss in that second section anymore, I guess. Fuck. Yeah, it's like the explosion in this case has to do the damage. Fuck. Damn. It's like nothing I can shoot. Ah! No ammo. Ah! I should have enough for continue though. Let's keep it going. I love how you just have to mash on the button to spend those two. Okay, I got the scythe back too. This video is way longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and this run too. Again, not necessarily like crushing the combo, but... It does feel good to just, even if you don't hit a bunch of enemies, just to speed through a park chunk like that. So I'm down to my... Down to my bare bones. I don't think it'll be easy for me to get another, uh, enough to get another continue. Fuck. Fuck! What is that? Fuck. 
no. Ooh. Squeaked out of that one, but I just took three cheap hits like a jerk. That freaking sucks. I had something not going, but. Uh. <laughs> yeah, definitely not enough for another continue, but. Oh, man. I forgot how much I love this game, and I'm really, really excited that there's, like, new stuff from the last time I played. So, um, again, I'm sorry this video uh, ended up being a little longer than I intended it to be, but thanks for watching, as always. Links will be in the video description also, as always. And uh, what do we have up here? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I get sidetracked there. But, yeah, thanks again, and take care. Play Goner.